What I'm gonna have you do, well, this is a per policy, we're gonna have you uh, pop the trunk and we're just gonna put the firearms in there. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> he has more firearms in the car, no, but, nah, nah, you, but we're not gonna check it, but. Nah, listen, I just went to the gun huh? ring, so I had everything in the car. Nah, man, you good. God damn <laughs> my boy's about that life. That's what I'm saying, I, I was used to. He's a victim? Yeah, that's not effective. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Where's all this from? Oh, what club you work at? What, what strip club you work at? I work at Cheetos. In Brock? Maybe. Okay. Maybe. Okay. So, like I just said, if I, I asked. Where, where's your medicine pills? Yo, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. Now, this video right here comes out of Florida. Well, we have a man and a woman. One's a stripper. I guess the other one's her boyfriend, a manager, or somebody. They end up getting pulled over by the police, and the most unlikely thing happened. Other than getting caught with a little something, you know, everybody, damn near, not everybody, mostly everybody's riding dirty. Because I say everybody, that means everybody. So we'll say it like this, mostly everybody is riding dirty. Whether you have your little smoke in there, a little something to drink, you know, or some shooters. Anyway, now the police pull these people over for allegedly cutting one of them off. Now, you know, that can be true or that can be false also. Because, hell, I done got pulled over before they said I was on the white line. I know damn well I wasn't riding on the white line that day on the highway. But anyway, I wasn't riding dirty, though. But I had that UGK riding dirty CD. Big shout out to them. But anyway, uh... Now, the police pull them over. You know, the first thing they want to do, they want to check your trunk. They want to check your car, look all in your face, ask you where you're going and stuff, try to get you tied up on your words. And when they get you tied up on the words or if they can't find them or if they're just a jerk, they're going to push the issue. So this cop goes to the trunk of the car, and he opens up the trunk of the car, and guess what he's seen? A whole cache, like Corey Holcomb say, a whole heap of weapons in the damn trunk. Yes, he's seen them assault rifles. I thought they was the damn Max Payne and Angelina Jolie from Tomb Raider done met up and done, uh, done made a matrimony, if you will, all these damn weapons. I'm like, only a damn cartel or the U.S. Navy should have them type of weapons anyway. I mean, they had all kinds of assault weapons, but that wasn't the bigger issue. The bigger issue was they had damn near $20,000 in cash in there. And I know a lot of you all are like, well, Trey, I got 20 stacks on me right now. Don't tell nobody. Keep it to yourself. But when the police see 20 racks, you feel what I'm saying? And, and, and mostly all of them, unless you weigh up there, they ain't getting paid no 20000 like that. They take offense. You know, sometimes... uh Depends on who you are. If you're a known celebrity or star, or whatever, they might will mess with you and they might won't mess with you. But if you ain't on TV and they don't really know who you are, they're like, where this money come from? So you know the automatic thing is drugs involved or you don't rob somebody, bank or whatever. And come to find out the money come from uh La Mama shaking that tail fella. And she goes by the name of Liz Mazzea Batista. 30, I mean 20 years old. Look 30 though. But anyway, now who would have known it was that much money and shaking ass? Damn, I am in the wrong profession. Me and the rest of my YouTubers, we need to go down to Miami and, uh, you know what I'm saying, throw on that Speedos and do what we got to do. But anyway, I'm going to read a snippet from this story and I'm going to give my opinion. Surely as we go. We got bills to pay, sweetie. Miami cops are forced to return almost $20,000 in tips they seized from a stripper. Yes, a stripper. 20 years old when they pulled her over. Now you might say, well damn, 20 years old, well, I guess she figured here my body is in its prime. I gotta I gotta go and make make my money while I can, you know what I'm saying? So go and go shake that salt shaker, drop it like it's hot. But at the same time, who knew in the hell these strippers make that much money? What the hell they had going on down there? All Star Weekend? I mean uh is the spring break still going on? I thought that was over with. Anyway, now Miami p police pulled over Rad's case, 33, sound like somebody is up to a little something, something, something. And his wife, oh, that was his wife, Liz Marcel Batista, 20 years old, but baby, look at every bit of 30 years old in the face. 
excuse me about that, Raz. Don't come for you, boy. I'm just speaking the truth. On May 25th, an officer's body cam recorded officers searching the car without permission. Searching the car without permission. You know you, you got to have a probable cause or permission from the person. I learned that the hard way. Now, they see six guns, marijuana oil, codeine syrup, and $19,934.15. And even counted it down to the cent. And tips from Batista, she said... She had earned as a stripper. So I guess they drew the sense on her while she was at, on stage and stuff. Probably heard her with one of them pennies and nickels. Now, the couple were charged with multiple felonies, including armed drug dealing. Prosecutors dismissed the case because the search was deemed unlawful. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Only if they would do that in California and Texas, we'll be all right. Now, Miami police were caught on camera unlawfully seizing guns, drugs, and nearly $20,000 in stripper tips during a traffic stop that they later boasted about to local media. They ran to the media, laid all the guns out, even shine them up and everything. You know what I'm saying? Even had some of the damn uh, uh, Green Beret and the Rangers come through there cleaning them up so they can look perfectly brand new. You know what I'm saying? Had the guns laid out. Had the, You know how they have it on the damn picture. So they be standing behind it like this. But with all the drugs and the guns on the table and stuff like that, they really did some shit. And uh, sometimes they do, but at the same time, that'd be some funny shit when they be standing behind a little drug. I've seen some of them stand behind a twenty, twenty, twenty dollar bag. You know what I'm saying? A twenty for for those who uh don't know what it is, or a dub twenty. You know, so I've seen them have a little old, uh, uh double weed. You know what I'm saying? A little pistol. They be behind. Be ten of them just like this behind, just like that. I'd be like, what the hell is going on? Now anyway, now Raz Cates. 33 and his wife Liz Mazelle Batista. I wonder if she came to the wrestler Batista. 20 years old were pulled over for cutting off a patrol car in Miami on May 25th when officers searched the couple's car without permission. Damn. You know what I'm saying? Y'all you, might would have had a little something if you would have had permission. Now in the trunk they found six guns including three assault rifles. What you need assault rifles for? Like them old folks say. What you need all that for? Now $19,000 and 934 uh, nineteen thousand nine hundred thirty-four dollars and fifteen cent that Batista had uh, earned as a stripper, and had earned also in tips at Cheetah's Gentlemen's Club in Holland, in Hollandale Beach. Damn, Cheetah's Gentlemen Club paying like that twenty damn thousand dollars, boy. I'm telling you, boy, y'all love the trick, boy. Y'all love the trick on them thoughts. Anyway, now uh, and they also had suspected marijuana oil and several bottles of codeine cough syrup. Then they had a whole. Pharmacists up in there. There was a rolling pharmaceutical company. The couple were charged with multiple felonies, including armed drug dealing, but quickly moved to have the charges thrown out by saying the evidence was obtained illegally, according to the Miami Herald. So if you so if you somewhere in a you have a little some some on you and you don't get them permission to search, and especially if they dumbasses record it. You got them all the way beat right there. You go and sit back and just say, look, you can go and give me a court appointed lawyer, even though I wouldn't advise you get no court appointed lawyer. I'm just making a point because you got to open and shut case. Now, the entire traffic stop was caught by an officer's body cam, which led prosecutors to dismiss the case. This is one time that body cam came into use. This is one time that body cam told the truth. A court has ordered the Miami-Dade Police Department to return the glittery cash and pay the couple's $3,000 legal bill. Not only do they got to return the stuff and look like a fool, but they, then they got to pay the damn legal bill also and probably whatever money it took for them to get out of jail or whatnot. This is a crazy-ass case. I mean, damn, they, scroll, they, they show strippers more love than they do old people and stuff, crippled people. You know what I'm saying? If you're a stripper, you got money, you good. But if you're a businessman, you got a suitcase on you, oh, you just robbed a bank, get them. The incident in Miami's West Little River neighborhood has garnered significant media attention in part because the department had boasted about the, the, the seizure by sharing photos of the guns with a local TV station. You know how they boast about it. Stuff. They have all the stuff laid out and shit. I've seen someone, like I said, had a $20 bag and one pistol and 10 of them behind, it, behind the desk just like this. Don't come in our county with that shit. You be like, well, goddamn, boy, you could have went out. You could have just went outside around one of y'all cars, and one of your officers probably dropped that out of his pocket. Let's continue before I get in trouble. It's amazing how something as simple as a traffic stop can lead us to crack a lot of cases. A police spokesman told CBS4. But at the same time, it's amazing how something as simple as a traffic stop could get your ass in trouble and have you look like a fool to the world. A lot of serial killers are behind bars because of traffic stops. You're right, and a lot of innocent people are behind bars behind traffic stops too, and a lot of innocent people are dead behind traffic stops also. A defense attorney for Cates and Batista, Judge Facilimo, said, What is most disturbing is that immediately following the arrest, listen to this very, very, very closely, 
what is most disturbing is that immediately following the arrest, the department went on TV and engaged in incendiary speculation without knowing the facts or even acknowledging the rampant violations of my client's constitutional rights. Big shout out to Judge Facidimo for that. Damn, we need you out here. We need you out here on the West Coast. We need you over here to represent for us because, damn, we go in there and some of, some of them don't have no kind of case. But the joker walk out there with 10 years. Be like, how the hell I get 10 years for spitting on the sidewalk? But anyway, did you hear how he said they couldn't wait to run and go tell? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's kind of like somebody been waiting to get that wood, that sausage from you. Then all of a sudden you give it to them and you bless them. You know what I'm saying? You you lay hands on them and you bless them. And they go tell all their friends. You know what I'm saying? Like Ludacris said, ho, go tell everybody. You feel me? So that's the same thing these cops did. They couldn't wait to get their happy ass on TV. Matter of fact, on the way to the damn precinct, they were like, y'all meet me over here right now. We got something, not too major, but we got something right now. I know y'all need some news. Y'all been uh, kind of thirsty lately for news, so here we go right here. So they run over there, and they just lay all the money out, all the guns out, and they stand behind their little poles like that. So, bam, there you go. The jokes is on you. Now, based on the body cam footage, prosecutors agreed with the defense. You couldn't help but agree with it one time, because why didn't they agree with the defense any other time they show them shooting people down and stuff? And I'm not saying, like I always say, all cops are bad no i'm not saying that but we just need the good cops <laughs> to uh stand up against the bad cops which they ain't gonna do anyway but anyway let's go and finish this story now search of the trunk was illegal prosecutor jonathan noble wrote in a memo explaining why the state didn't press charges in the video obtained by by um abc.com an officer can be seen commanding case to open the trunk where they found the bounty of potentially illegal items and guess what you should have you should have uh you should have Asked them. You feel me? It's a way to go by doing it. You know what I'm saying? What happened to the canine dogs that's supposed to come search? You just can't make somebody open their trunk. But did you hear I'm saying jokingly and stuff? They'll come playing with you jokingly. And the moment they find something, they're going to draw down on your ass. Keep playing with them if you want to. Now, Cates told the officers that he legally owned the six guns and had a valid concealed weapons permit, which authorities have confirmed. So, damn, you can get all kinds of assault rifles. I don't know what the hell going on, but that's that man's personal business. But at the same time, he must need a whole artillery for these fools because they can't wait to catch it slipping. Now, neither the defendant admitted to owning the marijuana, and it is still unclear if the alleged codeine cert, which was never tested, was obtained illegally or with a prescription. The nearly $20,000 in bills was discovered in Batista's purse. She had that money on her. The video shows a 20-year-old telling the officers, I was supposed to go to the bank to deposit the money. We got bills to pay, sweetie. Batista explained that the money was earned at her cash-only job. I bet it is because they ain't throwing number 10s in your face. A fellow scripper named Haley Heaft testified that Batista earned significant cash tips at Cheetah's Club at a hearing. So she basically, uh, her fellow scripper, Haley Heat testified that uh, Batista earned that money shaking her ass and she did all kinds of strange things to get that little piece of chain. And I'm not trying to go overboard with it. I'm just saying she uh, earned it the hard way, if you know what I mean. You know, like the old phone, the old song, uh, like my mom used to play, uh, she works hard for her money, so hard for her money. Y'all remember that song, you older people. Anyway, now, however, the department has requested to keep the money for investigation after a police dog indicated that the cash had been in close proximity to large amounts of narcotics. Huh? How are you going to keep the damn money if, just because it was close to proximity? What kind of shit is this? I mean, the money got to be a certain distance now, but they got a law for everything. You feel me? Now, I felt that the glitter on the seized cash was compelling evidence, but apparently the police department disagreed. Defense lawyer Facidimo quipped because there was no probable cause for seizing the money. Judge Rodney Smith ordered that it be returned to the cup of hell. I got pulled over with a couple of stacks and they took mine. I got it back three days later, but damn, they took mine. I ain't have nowhere near 20 but you know what i'm saying so i understand and, and i shit i had i had a damn job and every damn thing but anyway let me know what you all think about this crazy ass mess because it's a crying damn shame that uh the whole search was illegal but at the same time if you was a police officer and you rolled up on somebody and you seen twenty thousand dollars you know what i'm saying somebody purse you found it in their purse and you see a cashier of weapons, then alleged codeine and marijuana and all this, you're going to automatically think, what, these people are pushing it to the limit, you know what I'm saying? They got that Rick Ross uh, spirit in them. They're going to hustle, hustle hard. So, I understand a cop thinking that, but at the same time, with the illegal searching, all this stuff without permission, then basically swilling the people into letting you 
search the trunk and stuff, which you know that that is against policy because they usually ask for permission. And if they don't get permission, unless they have probable cause and they see a crime going on, they'll call a canine dog in and try to sniff out for drugs. But anyway, let me know what you all think about this mess because damn, if these crippers making twenty damn thousand dollars a night uh, shaking ass, well shit, I need to find out if they got some jobs available for the means. You see what I'm saying? And uh, some of my uh, subscribers, some of my uh, fellow subscribers, you can come along for the ride too. We can we can turn a whole empire out here like Lucius Lion. Anyway, let me know what you all think about this video. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and also share your video with your friends and your family out there dropping it like it's hot and getting their paper. Anyway, y'all have a blessed day. I'm out.